What's up guys? Royo with Cheese the Carno here. Welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Just hanging out today with my new Carno head. No, with our adolescent Carno. He's almost full grown now. So he's safe to leave in the base. Well, oh, he bites my face off. Uh oh, I just whistled something. What happened? Oh god. Oh no. You... Oh no, tell me I didn't whistle all. I whistled all! Oh my god! No! No! Oh! And we're back! Alright, I'm just gonna edit that part out. Let's all pretend that we didn't see that. Just took me a super long time to get everybody back in order. So here we go. What's up guys? Roy Alwood Cheese here and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day today. Or at least I was until I whistled all and ruined my entire base. But it's fixed now. So anyway, I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody. Thank you for all the recent comments and likes and views and subs. It's been terrific. So if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And for more daily ARC content, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so like I was saying, we're hanging out with our little adolescent Carno here. He's almost full grown. So we're going to leave him in the base. And I had some questions about Thylacos. So I thought we'd do a little Thylaco science to get things going today. I named, this isn't, we bred Thylacos again today. We came up with this guy. No luck on any colors at all with the Thylacos yet. They all look exactly the same, everyone we've bred. But we named this guy Tree Hugger. That was one of my viewer suggestions, and I liked it. So this is Tree Hugger. And we're going to do a little science. So I had a question that was, what does first-person climbing look like on a Thylaco? So let's find out. All right, so first-person mode. Blah! Wait a minute. Okay, listen, Thylaco, you're supposed to climb the wall. Don't embarrass me in front of the people. All right, climb the wall, Thylaco. There, here we go. Wait, come on. There he goes. So this is first person climbing, and you can like stop and spin around, woo, woo, a little bit disorienting. And then, I didn't even realize this when I was messing around last time, you can like aim where you want to pounce. Let's see if we can pounce this guy. See, we pounce on his face. Oh, wait, wait, I can't. Oh, that was super cool, you like grabbed him and I never saw that happen before. All right, neat. All right, so I also wanted to see, <laughs> We might sacrifice this thylo, but it's all for the matter of science. So let's see. They take super duper reduced fall damage. Like I can jump from super high on this hill and it only hurts me a little bit. I want to see if we can jump off the very top of this mountain and not die. So. Or, wait, what? Come on. Thylaco, climb. All right. What's happening with my thylaco? Climb up the hill, thylaco. Do it. Right, it's kind of hard to see where you're going if you're in first-person mode. All right, keep going. You got this, bro. You got this. No, wait. Come on. There we go. Now we're on the right side of the mountain to get up, I think. Come on, you got this, buddy. There you go. You got this. You got this. Come on. All right, there we go. This thylaco might not be as good as climbing as our other thylacos. Come on. <gasps> Alright. Now. Whoa. Highest point on the mountain. What do you think? Can I jump off this and survive? Make your bets now. Here we go. We're going to do it. Let's find out for science. Whoa. We totally lived. We didn't even really take that much damage. How much damage did we take? About 1,200 damage off the highest point on my entire... I mean, that's high. It'd be hard to find, on at least on the center map, a higher point than that to jump off. So, that's awesome to know. You don't really have to worry about fall damage at all with these guys. Neat. Alright, so good suggestion. That was interesting. Science there. Oh, stupid Peggle Mastics, I hate you. Oh, I hate Peggle Mastics. They're the worst things. Anyway, I also had some questions about dire bears and a tip on how you might be able to make dire bears get a color mutation. So I think 
today I'm going to head off into the Redwoods. And we're going to do a search for, of course, if I find another good Thylaco, we're going to tame it. Because I love Thylacos, and I want to get more of them on higher levels and color mutations. But we're going to be looking for mostly dire bears. So, dire bears and Thylacos today in the Redwoods. But first, we've got to say hi to Murder. Hey, Murder, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Uh, not too much. Just hanging out, playing with the Thylacos. We just jumped all the way off the highest hill over there. Oh, wow, that's really amazing. I bet I could do that if my legs weren't so short. Oh, murder, come on, we've talked about this. Not the little leg thing again. Yeah, I know, it's just... Yeah, oh, it's going to be all right. What's up, little Jerry? What's going on, guys? Hey, what do you call a bears with no ears? Um, I don't know. What do you call bears with no ears? B. <laughs> Spelling joke. Check. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice, Murder. <laughs> the good one. All right, guys, have fun. See you, little Jerry. See you, Murder. All right, that was Murder, everybody. So we're going to go hop on our super-duper slow Quetzal. And the reason I take the Quetzal is because I can pick up dinos and carry them back. Um, I could take a raft or whatever, but I'm kind of scared, to be honest, to raft across now that the leech just hit this. The leech just hit Those whale things are supposed to attack rafts. So I'm a little bit scared. It'd be a real bummer to have, like, a new guy, you know, we find... A 150 dire bear and try to raft it back, and we get murdered by a leechethis this on the way back. Um, I also want to say real quick, sorry about my voice the last few videos. I'm still fighting off this cold, and I'm super congested, and it's just it's been a real pain. So I apologize if I sound super nasally. It's driving me nuts. It's probably driving you guys nuts too. But I'm sorry. But we're gonna fly to the redwoods, and we'll be right back. And we're back. We've been cruising around the redwoods for a while. I haven't found anything really good yet. But look. How cool this Thylacos colors are. He's like red and gray and white. Oh, man. I wish he wasn't a level 15. Super cool colors. Hopefully we can find the one high level one that looks like that. All right. I just wanted you guys to be able to see that super... Ooh, wait. Is that another one? What level are you? Eh, 45. Yep. All right. We're going to keep cruising around and we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, guys. I finally spotted something good. 150 male dire bear and it's in like surrounded by uh, Gallimimus this is like Gallimimus hangout oh no what's it fighting oh no what are you oh okay oh it murdered that Perlovia pretty darn quick alright so ooh super blue dodic I love blue dodics 70 yeah um I wonder if alright let's see if we can get up on this rock land can you... Yeah, face that way. That's better. Are you on passive? Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can shoot him from here, drag him over, and just kind of shoot him from up here. Okay. We can't do it the first try. Oh, no. Now there's a Thylaco attacking it. What? What level is this Thylaco? A 20. All right. Handle your Thylaco business, buddy. You got this. Yeah. He's pretty powerful. He murdered that Thylaco, like, no problem. There we go. Got a hit on him. He should come over here. Kwapow! I checked the dossier before we left, and, of course, his favorite is Kibble, but we still... I need to write myself a note to make up preserving bins be between episodes. I spent so much time breeding stuff, and I never make... Just I just gotta make stupid preserving bins. They're not hard to make. Uh-oh. Please come back. No, don't do the water. Oh, wait. Aha, we have a Quetzal. We can... Oh, you're coming back. Wait, never mind. Um, they're not... It's just like raw stone and wood and fiber. It's like not hard to make a preserving man. I just got to make like five of them and do it. But, uh... So his favorite food is kibble, of course. His second favorite food is raw mutton. But I didn't want to slaughter another... Ovis and carry around the raw mutton and let it all go bad and stuff. So we brought cooked lamb chops, which is his third favorite food. So it should do pretty good. Hey, you. Come here. Come out of the water and come over here and be my buddy. Um, so yeah. So we, I brought those with us. So we should be all set. Should be able to tame this guy up pretty good. Assuming we can get him down without him running into the water, which is what he wants to do. Come on. Stop. Oh, reload gun. 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 Be a gun.
I don't know what this... He's like running away like he's got high torpor, but then he doesn't go down when I shoot him again. Come on, man, go down! And then he comes back. This guy might have recent brain trauma. Possible Redwoods Fight Club member. How about if I shoot you in your booty? Nobody likes darts in their booty. Alright, come on. Don't go in the water. Go down, not in the water. Oh! Why, runaway mechanic? Why must you do this? Oh. Uh. Like, I have a feeling that in real life, okay, you meet a humongous, powerful dire bear, and you're standing on your humongous giant bird, shooting it off your giant bird platform with a little tiny dart. I feel like if it doesn't put it to sleep, it's certainly not going to make it run away. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. No, wait. Why? Why? Please. Go down. Oh, why do you keep going in the water? We found ourselves an aqua bear, clearly. Clearly, we're trying to tame an aqua bear. Which is, it's rare, but I've heard they exist. Okay. Come here, aqua bear, for the, like, fifth time. Can you please, please, pretty please stop running into the water? Like, that would be super awesome. I'll be your best friend. I'll give you drugs and knock you out and feed you cooked lamb chops. It's going to be great, really. We're going to try to find you a lady friend. Like, it's not its not going to be bad. What if we put him, like, over this way? So maybe he'll run into the wall instead. Yeah, run into the... Oh, not into the trees where I can't see you at all. No. Where'd he go? All right, if you see him, shout it out. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, come on. Where did he go? Oh, this guy's tricksy. All right, he's trying to juke us out. Um. What? Where are you? Seriously? He's got to be right here, right? He, where? Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Ha ha. Uh. No, get your big Quetzal head out of the way. By the way, how many darts is this guy going to take? Like, what? I'm using the shocking tranquilizer darts. I'll chase him down on my super fast Quetzal. You can't outrun me. Yeah, oh, all right. Yeah, you probably can. My guy's super slow. Oh my god, this team is just going awful. Oh, there he goes. Come here. Get back here. Oh, come on. Oh my god, Quetzal. You're absolutely killing me. Gun, shoot. Be a gun. Okay. Is he... What's he doing? Is he standing there? Are you down? Are you mad? Are you... What's happening? Is he down? No, he's not down. My gun won't work. Gun. Alright, he's down. He's down. I think I saw... What level is this guy over here? Alright, that's a 40. Alright. I'm gonna try to take out this Thylaco real quick, because I don't want him to come over here and kill us. I'm gonna throw up our walls, tame this guy up, and hopefully we can get a perfect tame on this guy. We'll be right back. Oh, look at your cute little paws. Oh, kitchy, kitchy, coo. A kitchy, kilo is a coo, so cute little paws. Oh, kitchy, kitchy, coo. A kitchy, coo. Oh, it's a kitchy, coo. Oh, we got a little tickle. Oh, he's up. He's. Uh, when did you guys get back? All right. You guys didn't see anything. I wasn't doing anything weird. All right, he's up. Yes. Okay, so on. Um, give me these. On eight times taming rates, they will perfect tame off of cooked lamb chops. He's level 224. Tamed out with 3760 health, 2000 stamina, 317 melee damage, and 222.6 movement speed. Ah, oh, super pumped. I love dire bears. They're awesome. They're super powerful. They're fun to use. And they even have good utility with the uh, fiber gathering. So I'm going to clean up my mess here, as I always do. I don't like to leave a messy 
server, even though I'm the only one on this server. And we're going to fly him. Unfortunately, i got to fly him all the way back to base and then fly back here. That's going to take a while. But once we get all that done, we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, I'm cruising around. Oh, he just killed it. I've been cruising around the Redwoods, and I found this little lady. Isn't she awesome? She looks like a real tiger. Awesome. 145 female, I think. I don't think we can pass her up, so we're going to try to tame her up here. See, hmm. I guess maybe just on the back of the quets. Let's see what we can do here. Hi, you're pretty colors. Can you come home and make some babies that are not red for me, please? That would be amazing. All my baby thylacos are all red. And I would love to have little tiger babies like you. Maybe? Go to sleep! Well, this is working out perfect so far. Are you full off Diplo meat? You can't run? Not that I have a problem with that. It's perfect. Come on, baby. Take a little nap. Maybe, please. Get sleepy. And slow motion lay down? Yes! Wow, that was the easiest tame ever. Okay, we're gonna land. I'm gonna throw up my little spike fence. Uh, you got the spike fences? Yeah. Give me the spike fences and the meat. Alright, we're gonna throw up our little spike fence. No! No! Alright. Wait, let's get away. Get away. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Darn it! Alright, hopefully they didn't hit it and they just hit me. We'll have to we'll have to see. Oh Man, it's the redwoods are dangerous. It's hard hard to tame stuff over here. Alright, here. Eat a lamb chop. Do you still have good taming percentage? Darn it. I guess we're going to throw up the walls real quick, just in case. He does have a good percentage. Take a bite. Show me your per percentage. Uh, put my gun out. I don't want my gun out. Why don't... Okay. Or don't take a bite. That's fine. Just never take a bite. Really rock. Okay, a little taming wall. Oh, it's going to make me so mad if this team is messed up. Can you take a bite, please? I want to know if you're messed up. What's your deal? Um, where's your food? All right, any second now, it's going to take a bite. Please don't be messed up. Yes, yes, not messed up. Good. All right, it only bit the Quetzal. It didn't bite this guy. Perfect. All right, we're going to hang out until this guy tames up, and we'll be right back. Yes, she's up, she's up. Yes, awesome. She tamed out with 4,200 health, 1,560 stamina, 640 weight, 322.4 melee damage, and 130 movement speed. Give me my lamb chops and my narcotics back. Uh, super awesome. Hopefully now we'll be able to breed out some different colored thylos. And maybe if we're lucky on the stats, we'll be able to breed some higher level thylos. So awesome. I'm just going to clean up my mess, fly her back to base, and we'll continue our search for a lady dire bear. We'll be right back. And we're back. All right, guys. I finally found our little lady we've been looking for. 145 female dire bear. The only problem is, is we're super duper close to this cliff. So I'm really afraid that if I try to tame her up, she's going to run off this cliff and into the ocean. It should be terrible. But I'm trying to do wild tames today instead of flying back to the taming pen just for the... So it'll be interesting. So we're just going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully we can make a little magic happen here. Oops. I'm going to put my gun back on instead of my walls. Okay. Quetzal, get your face out of the way. 
The landing on the redwoods is so goofy. Like, zoom in, bright light. Uh, zoom out, no light. Yo, it's a violent life. You can live to a hundred, you can die tonight. That's why we getting high tonight, yeah. That's why I let my man drive tonight, yo. It's a violent life. You can live to a hundred, you can die tonight. That's why we getting high tonight, yeah. That's why I let my man drive tonight, yo. That's why we getting high tonight. That's why we getting high tonight, yeah. That's why we getting high tonight. That's why we getting high tonight, yo. Yes, she's down, she's down, okay. Super quick, assess the danger. I see no danger. All right, we're gonna throw up our wall real quick and tame her up and we'll bring you guys back. And she's up, she's up, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, all right. <laughs> she's up and I'm laying on her head. This is awesome, okay. All right, so she's up, she tamed out with 2880 health, 1950 stamina, 1027 weight, 329 melee damage, and 222.6 movement speed. Give me back my pork chops. Okay. I'm gonna... We had a really good day in the Redwoods today, huh? We got a 150 Dire Bear, then we got a 145 Thylo, and then now we got this 145 Dire Bear. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna clean up my mess over here. We're gonna pick up our new lady Dire Bear, and we're gonna fly her back to base, and then we'll be right back. And we're back! And there's Parasaur stuck on us. Like, for real, dude? I'm trying to make a video here. Come on. I... Alright, anyway. I got all these guys back to base. I made up the saddles. I made a little breeding pen over here. Because I didn't want to be anywhere near any feeding troughs. But first, we're going to check out the dire bear. Because this first dire bear of the season here. Can we... Show us your face. Oh, he's cute. Alright, left click. Rawr. Does bite deal. Right click. Ooh, swipey swipe. C. Oh, look at those. So mean. Give me another C. Okay. Let's see how we do on damaging. 211 to start. Wow, that's that's really powerful for first starting out. And he, if you hold down run, he'll get faster and faster. He like has to build up speed. Kind of like a rhino. So that's pretty fun. He's pretty quick. I haven't pumped any movement speed. And he's pretty fast to start. I think he'll... Will you harvest thatch, too? No. Berries. Harvest berries and fiber. What if I... Right click. Yeah, it's all berries and fiber, which is awesome. Yeah, so super cool. Okay, so now... The rumor I'm hearing... I don't know if this is true or not, but... Figure for the sake of arc science, we'll try it. Is that if you breed dire bears or herbies... And they're only eating... Green, uh, blue and yellow berries, so the azul berries and amber berries, that they'll have green um, color mutated children. Which sounds like not true to me, but hey, maybe it is. I don't know. So we're going to give it a try. So I'm just going to wall these, wall everybody in. This is just super ghetto breeding pen deal. I'm just going to wall everybody in. Not wall myself out. And... Okay, everybody's in. Now, enable wandering on everybody. So I made sure those guys just have the 
blue and uh, yellow berries on them. And we'll see. Maybe that'll make a green mutated baby. I don't know. No idea. Are you guys... Is everybody doing it? Why, uh, oh, you're on follow. Don't follow me. All right. Now are you doing it? Oh, you're not on Wander. Now are you doing it? All right, they're doing it. Why aren't you guys doing it? Oh, because you're following me. Stop following me. All right, everybody's doing it. They're getting it on. All right, don't watch. You definitely don't want to see multi-species breeding at the same time. Okay, so we're going to hang out and let these mamas... Ooh, don't look. Ooh, don't look. Let these mamas gestate their babies, and I'll bring you guys back when we're about to have a new baby. And we're back. All right, guys, we're supposed to, we're about to have our first baby dire bear of the season, 99%, and this guy is pretty close, too, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on both of them. I don't want to lose either of the babies. All right, 99.7, let's do it. Come on. A 224, perfect tame. That's good. Wait, did it just... Oh, it's stuck in the ground. Not good. Okay. Come here. Oh, now you're stuck in... Everything's stuck. Okay, not... This is terrible. Give me... Um, alright. Mama, get off your baby. Alright. Baby die bear. Come here. Come here, be my buddy. Come on. Come on. Come out of the floor. There you go. Get out here. Come on. Nobody likes to... Inside of the floor, baby. Alright. Okay, take some food. Uh, food, food, food. This baby. Oh, baby Thalico. Oh, God. Alright. Table wandering. Baby Thalico. 221 and same colors as the mom. Alright, that's not bad. Okay, table wandering. Uh, neutral. Passive. Follow distance. I, why isn't this just a setting? I don't understand. Why can't I just make this my setting so it's the same every time? Would that be... That just makes too, too much sense? I don't okay. Neutral. Passive. Uh, you already disable monitoring. Change your follow distance. Okay. Now, can everybody come here? Everybody that was just born, come this way. Alright. So we got a baby female thylaco, 221. Not bad, not bad. She's pretty cute. At least she's a different color, finally. All our other babies are that red straw, like straw bizzle over there. Hey, bear, come here. Hey. What's wrong with this bear? Oh, you're supposed to be following me. Why aren't you following me? Come on. Um... Okay, there, good. We got you guys together. We did it. And we'll give you some more berries. Eat more berries. Oh, not stones. You don't need stones. Now, let's get a look at you. We haven't seen a baby dire bear yet. Oh, no. What did that do? I'm so scared of my accidental whistling now. Oh, my. The baby dire bears are so cute. All right, they're probably the cutest yet. Cutest little babies yet. You got a little stubby tail. Oh, he's like got like no tail. Oh, look at it. It's so stubby and little. Oh. A little surprised that the thylaco is so much bigger. The, ba the bear is definitely way smaller. So we ended up with a perfect tame bear and a 221 thylaco. Awesome. All right, guys. So make sure you leave suggestions. We got two new adult dire bears, a, a mom and a dad, a new lady thylaco, a new lady baby thylaco, and a new male baby bear. So we need names for all those guys. So leave those in the comment section. We get a little... Can I get in here with you guys? Can I... Can we get a... Hey, oh, yeah, look at this. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Ark Survival Evolved. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that thumbs up button. And for more daily Ark content, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.